In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a Spearman's Row Correlation Coefficient Test in SPSS. Now, Spearman's Row is also called Spearman's Rank, or written as RS. Spearman's Row is a non-parametric test, so it's most appropriate when one or both variables you want to correlate are either not normally distributed or ordinal. Now, for this example, I'm going to look at competency score, which is continuous, and normally distributed, because I did check that um, when I ran it in Pearson's R. But my second variable is age groups, and this variable is ordinal, and therefore not normally distributed. So Spearman's row correlation is the best choice. So if you go to Analyze, Correlate, Bivariate, we're going to put both our variables in. So we want age groups and total competency. The order does not matter. And I want to untick Pearson, and I want to tick Spearman. Now, just like with the Pearson's test, you've got an option for two-tailed or one-tailed test. And this is based on your alternate hypotheses. So if your H1 says that there will be a relationship, but you don't know in advance whether that relationship will be positive or negative, you need to choose two-tailed. However, if in advance you expect the relationship to be positive or negative, then you would choose a one-tailed test. Now, for my example, I don't know what to expect in the relationship between age groups and competency, so I'm going to choose a two-tailed test. You also have the option to flag significant correlations, and this is just SPSS giving you an indication that the result is significant at 0 0.05 with one asterisk or 0 0.01 with two asterisks. This does not change your level of significance or your alpha value. It's just an indication of significance compared to those two values. Go ahead and click OK. Here are the results of our Spearman's row correlation coefficient. And in the next video, we're going to take a closer look at what these results mean.